Hi friends! Welcome back to my channel. Um, today, we're going to be making some birthday tags that is totally inspired by Tineel, who is Paper Milkshake. I will link her video down below. Um, it was totally inspired by her. I had this collection and I've been meaning to do something with the collection, but haven't had the mojo for this. And then when I saw her video, I was totally inspired. So she started with just putting her bases first um, and her bases was sutured. So I did the same exact thing. And then I started putting some ephemera. Um, I didn't have the sticker, the cardstock stickers or the chipboard stickers that she had, but I was able to fussy cut um, uh, some from the paper collection. So that's what I did. And so I'm going to be, I was going to put it together and I decided, you know what, I'll just do a video. I've made some already, but I wanted to show you these I've already assembled and I still need to put some ephemera or some sentiments on it. So I'm going to do that with you in a little bit. Um, this one, we're going to put, we're going to be putting some yarn on it later. So that's already done and I just fussy cut and stitched it up. This would be so cute in a simple bag. Um, here's here's this one. Very simple. It says treat yourself with a cake. Cute. And here's another one because I was able to fussy cut a lot of cake from the paper collection. And I used a pink thread for, for all of them. And then this one... Super cute, just layered it up. And then another paper clip. I think this is missing something. I don't know what it is, but I know it's missing something. But we'll get back to that. So we're going to assemble these. These are not attached yet, but I've already um, laid out a plan for them, just like what she did. Um, so she laid out her bases first, and then... And then the base is like what I told you is already stitched up. And so that's what I'm going to do. And that's what I did. So I'm just putting it all together. Um, I've never used this process before. And I thought it was so inspiring. And so that's what we're going to do. Hopefully you guys get inspired to use your paper stash today. How's everybody Saturday? It is Saturday here here and the kids are not doing homeschool today and I'm off this weekend which is awesome we are getting busier in our hospital for those of you guys who don't know I am in California and you know we're getting more business we're actually in in the past month we haven't had any contact sports injuries and the last time I worked, which is Thursday, we had our first contact sports injury. It's a basketball injury. So it means people are getting comfortable coming out of the house now. Um, so that's something to be mindful of because that's how you spread coronavirus. Um, so guys, don't forget to use your masks when you go out of the house. That is super important. Protect yourself if you have a face shield because you can, you can get the virus also with um, some droplets in your eyes. If somebody laughs or sneezes or coughs and you get some particulates in your eyes, you can also get infected with that. So, you know, if you're wearing um, reading glasses or if you can wear some eye protection that would be awesome if you don't have eye protection wear a face mask and um, face shield or sunglasses would be good too if you don't have any of those I also have a tutorial in my channel on how to make your own face shield using acetate and some felt and some glue gun so if you want to make your own you don't have access to any PPE there's a lot of tutorials out there on how to make a mask. Dr. Sanjay Gupta also has his own version of how to make a 
face mask using a bandana and some hair ties. That's cute. I think we just need to put a flower. And Tennille put pom-poms. So I've never used pom-poms in that context before. So I will try to do that. Next one is this one. We're going to do this. And this one is just a turtle that was fussy cut from the paper. I've already prepped it. I've already prepped it so you don't have to watch me put... Um, double-sided tape on every single one of them but I hope it inspires you to use your craft stash hey guys I still cannot do a YouTube live I don't know who to call what to do because that's the main reason why I wanted to hit a thousand subscribers and I've been trying my best is because I wanted to do a YouTube live and I couldn't. I'm still ineligible. For some reason, I'm not eligible to, to do it using my mobile device. I don't understand. I really don't understand. If anybody can shed light on that, please put a comment down below. Because I don't know what else to do. Um, I know Eileen will be helping me. Eileen Payne. Hi, Eileen. Um, she offered to help me get that started. What do you guys think? Is it too simple? Very chunky. Not as chunky as others. Oh, this one I already did yesterday. This one is just some laminated acetate st stitched. And then this is a 3x4 cut apart. Layered with paper and some fussy cut ephemera from the paper collection. So that's simple. I just need to put around thing in here for the tag and then put yarn so that's done let's get this one so as some of you guys might know I like putting these punched flowers everywhere <laughs> I think it's so cute and dainty so let's put that I'm so glad that these are dollar store. I have access to these dollar store double-sided tape. Otherwise, putting all these double-sided tape is going to bankrupt me for sure. I'm glad that my Dollar Tree has it. So what are you guys working on this weekend? Anybody working on some new stuff? I started cutting some bloom. If any of you guys saw, um, I did a haul video for my Joann's, for my local Joann's, and I got some bloom stuff, and so I started fussy cutting, um, you know, some flower ephemeras. I'll show you in a little bit, if we have time. So I started fussy cutting some of that. I'm really, really excited because I was comparing the, the Bloom Street ephemera pack which I have one and then I compared it to the one that I fussy cut from one 12 by 12 sheet which is 20 cents and you can see the difference I'll I'll be showing that in that video when I when I make that um let me see what we have for what did I have for I know for sure I have I'm trying to look for here I think it's here these so these I got from the Dollar Tree I think this would work let's see I think it will work with color color wise I hope I centered it properly I hope let's see all in this together. Any of you guys were able to watch the Alicia, Alicia Keys town hall? I was at work. But. So that's why I wasn't able to, to watch it. 
So that's cute. Is that cute? I think it is. Wouldn't this be cute for like a gift bag? Like a simple gift tag. I hope I centered it. I think that works. Oh yes, that totally works. Maybe a blue would be better. I seriously wish I had a YouTube live so I can like, hey, what what do you think, guys? Should I use the blue or the pink? This is a double, triple layer. How cute! Oh yes, I've had these for years. So this was the moment. This is the moment that I can use it. How cute. I love the stitching. Tenille, girl, you are so inspiring. As always, you inspire a lot of us crafters. And thank you, thank you so much. Tenille is um, such an inspiration. She's an amazing paper crafter. And I always, always, when I run out of mojo, always, always watch her videos to find some inspiration. And never fails. It never fails, and she inspires me to use my scrap stash. Seriously. And she has the, the, like the nicest voice when she when she crafts, when she does craft with me. Such a sweet voice. So calming. Okay. How cute. Okay. How cute are these donuts? Don't you think they're cute? Oh, okay. So let me. There's another gift. Okay. So the plan for this is the gift will be here. This bear I got from the card, the card set, because I didn't have any um, chipboard. I didn't have any chipboard, um, chipboard or cardstock stickers. So, and this I had. So I thought, why not use it? And look, it's double-sided, so which is perfect. And then, prior to this, I was using this collection to make some cards. Because, so I was making these cards. And then I got this idea from Jennifer McGuire. I don't know the right name for it, but this is like a shadow box card. Like this. And so, I was... It was supposed to be like a gift idea. So th I can still put it in here in this. Um, let me make you a little bit farther. Oh my gosh, you're going to see my mess on my table. So this is the original. I stitched it last night. I still have to decorate the front. I think I'm just going to use these to decorate the front. Because this is the only stickers that I have. Or these... Um, I don't know what this is called, like leathery stickers that I got from Tuesday morning. I've been hoarding them for the right project, so I think this is the right project. And so, I've seen this idea a long time ago during the early stage, early days of YouTube. But this is like, um, like a perpetual birthday calendar where, you know, if you have birthday celebrants, you can just write their names on here and what date is their birthday. And then it goes the entire 12 months. So you you have a ready card for every single month. And then I think it's a great idea putting the names of your celebrants every month so you don't forget. And you have a card ready. I thought it would be a great opportunity to use these stamped images that I colored from years ago. So that was the whole idea for that. And this is the February... And I fussy cut these because I couldn't find the cardstock stickers or um, chipboard stickers when Tuesday morning was open. So this have, has yet to be assembled because this is how it goes. You see? So it's two cards that you layer together. I'm going to put um, Jennifer McGuire's uh, video so you can make your own. See how it opens up? And then you can just, let's say you can just put this is this an emu or an ostrich maybe an ostrich you can just put an ostrich here anyways so yes i thought this project was 
it took a long time to kind of finish but some of them are done and then you put your sentiments here like give your dedication so yeah so it goes until December some of them have cards in them and so it's very simple just the month and then I gave you I gave space for the names oh this is this is uh, two years wow this is two years so I can separate these and just and just make another cover and this would be a great gift idea so yep I'll get back to you on that but that was the original intention why I got this um, this collection anyways so let's put it all together because I've been meaning to make birthday cards I think birthday cards are a great way to finish up your scrap stash because they don't require so much oh my gosh I think I put it yikes I can't change it now. So I have to decorate the bottom part, I think. It's supposed to be like this. But I put the <laughs> I put the I put the gifts way too high. Let me see if I have any some other gifts that I can put. Should I put cake then? Because I have a lot of cake left over. Ay ay ay. That's not good. <laughs> I don't think that would work. I'm trying to find some gifts that I can... No way. What did I do? You know what? It's okay. We're just going to go with it. Yeah, it's okay. We're just, we'll just go with the flow. Look how much double-sided tape we have here. Thank goodness. Imagine if you paid full price, like $5 for this, because they're selling these 99 cent foam tape in Hobby Lobby for like $2.50. Okay, it's okay. I made a mistake. And that's okay. I'm human. Now I'm just missing. I need to put something on the bottom. Yeah, let's do that. Because it feels like, you know, I think I need to ground the bear somehow. And strips of paper would do the work. Would be good. And then I'll put the gift. I can't believe I don't have any. I don't have a lot of gifts. Still works, I think. I think it still works. What do you guys think? So cute. Oops. Next. This one is next. Where is the sentiment for you? I know I have a sentiment for that. Okay. We'll find you a sentiment. So the plan is for the cakes. Like there's foreground cakes. It's a present. I'm going to put this. I think it's a good idea so the plan is to put these and then put a big um, guys I promise I planned for it I don't know where my sentiment went oh my goodness what happened is it on the floor so yeah we had a sentiment well we'll just put this one then Hey, it's your birthday. Okay. We gotta go with the flow. That's alright. We'll work on it. I think this is a good way to improve your stash when it comes to like birthday related items. Super, super cute way to do that. And to use your scrap stash too. And so, that would be awesome. Right? Just imagine, um, I don't, I didn't use, technically, I just used the paper. 
I just cut up the paper, like fussy cut some embellishments. Yeah, I only use the cards. Yeah, pretty much. Pretty much. This is a project that um, I used majority, like 99% I use only the paper to make my own embellishments. Because I didn't have the stickers. Well, I have the stickers, but I didn't use them. You know how I hoard that, so. It can be done. I think this is cute, but it's missing the flower. So, I feel like the flower and the sentiment really makes it pop. So, this one is a double layer, and I stitched them both. I love this blue. I think this is called Cerulean Blue. And it's a very beautiful blue color. And this paper collection is super, super cute. Um, this is from Crate Paper. But Pebbles came out with a similar collection, which I showed you guys. Um, which I showed you in my latest Joanne's haul. And it's called Hooray, like some semblance of a Hooray title as well. So I started fussy cutting some of the elements on there too. And I thought that was so cute as well. And it reminded me that I had this hooray collection from Crate Paper. Sorry I wasn't in frame when I was removing the, the backing. But you didn't want to see that anyways. So this is going to be kind of on the side of the card so we don't block it. Let's see. So the plan was to use only let me see. Maybe I should put some on the hind legs of this guy. I didn't anticipate that it's it's gonna make a page. So I think it's cute. Let's put some adhesive in here. I hope you guys can see that. And then we're going to put the hedgehog or porcupine. I think this is a porcupine. So cute. What are you guys eating today for lunch? We are having hot dogs, watermelons, potato salad, For lunch what do you guys think is that cute you know what i'm gonna use the stars from this i've been hoarding this forever i think it's time to bite the bullet my tendency is to hoard these stickers because i make a lot of my own ephemera and so the need for me to use them lessons you know what i mean let's put some Let's get your party on. Oh, that's so cute. That's so cute. I remember Allie Edwards love using star stickers. That is so cute, you guys. Isn't that adorbs? Okay, next one. Okay, we are at 26 minutes. I'm sorry. I need to stop talking and just do the work. Let's just do the work, Christian, because... You're talking too much, girl. And they just want to see the stuff. I'm sorry. I just like to talk because I don't have any YouTube, Facebook Live. Oh, no, YouTube Live. That was, I was correct. So that. So the plan is for this ostrich to be here and then the yay, yay, yay. And then I'm just going to glue gun it because the legs is too much. So I'm going to put this one first and it's going to kind of hang out there. I'm going to glue gun this guy. Should I? I shouldn't be lazy. I just, I should just do it. Do, 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 do. You belong. Yeah. 
yeah okay i'll just be patient and attach the small legs of ostrich you guys must be like girl your video is taking a long time girl i'm sorry i just want to show you the process maybe it inspires you who knows and on a Saturday, who does not need inspiration on a Saturday? So my plan is to upload this video before lunch. So yeah, always good to have a plan. You may not be able to fully execute it, but having a plan is always a good idea. Oh my gosh, I'm all out of frame again. Oh, and then the heart goes here. Yes, yes. I was thought I was I was thought of, I was missing something. I had planned something else. So yes, the heart was part of the plan. Correct, correct, correct. Very good. I'm glad because I took pictures. On the layout of these tags using my phone but I am using my phone to record this video so there's no way for me to validate what I had planned right now so that's good we only have okay after this ostrich we only have two more tags and then we're done guys so let me know down below what you guys are working on this weekend what's the plan What's the plan for everyone? I think that is super cute, guys. Oi. So cute. Okay. Last two, I promise. Last two, last two. This one is a very simple one. I am not even going to put... I'm not even going to put um, a button for it. So the plan is for this to... This, for this to say that... Get your party on will be here. So let me put that right now and seal the deal. So the dog is saying get your party on. And then the the rat. Gosh. Okay, let me move you closer. I feel like you cannot see it very well. Can you see that better? Oh my gosh. Too late. <laughs> Almost done. <laughs> Sorry. Hey. Okay. Is it too late now to say sorry? Hey, did you guys watch any movies that's just recently released? Because we watched Onward. Well, my kids are 9 and 11, and we loved it. Onward was a good family movie. Gave us a little bit of tears, but that's okay. Okay, I am mixing thicknesses, which I know I should not do. Okay, guys, we're at 31 minutes and 39 seconds. We're almost there. I didn't want to rush it because some people enjoy watching the process. I enjoy I enjoy watching people craft and talk. And that's what Tanil's video was. She was talking and crafting and I enjoyed it immensely. And I figured, you know what? She inspired me so much. I might as well do the same thing for other people. And I think it's a great idea. I do, I do, I do. Um, so, yes, we're going to attach the dog now, now that we know the placements. So I'm just taking all these off. Ooh, what happened? I got a boo-boo. Look at that. How did I get that? I'm just sitting in my chair. That's brand new. Look. I wonder. Anyways, moving on. Anyways, guys, have you noticed that all your orders from AliExpress is extremely delayed? My orders from January, it's obviously it's because of the pandemic. I'm just saying. 
I understand. But if you order from local businesses like 3 com, which is in Washington, it arrives quickly. I ordered something from Mama Elephant, which is their new release boba. I'm going to make a new video on that. I'm very, very excited about that project. They arrived very quickly. How cute. I think this is missing something. I just don't know what. I do not know what it is. I'm missing. Um, should we put yay? No, it's weird. Hooray. No, not really. I will leave it for now. And then if I... I'm just taking the adhesive off. If I find something, then I will probably put it. Last one. Last one, guys. 34 minutes. We are at 34 minutes. You lasted 34 minutes with me talking. Gosh. Bravo. Thank you. So this one... I cut from the 3x4 paper. This is another 3x4, just a paper pad. So the plan is for this and this to happen. And then the cake will go here and we're going to say hooray for cake. So I think that is a great plan. Let's do it. Let us do it. Okay, so I'm going to let you go very soon and get you going in your regular Saturday programming. Because I cannot do a f YouTube live, I am just recording my stuff. I wish I could. Don't know what else to do with it. Because I normally just record using my phone. I use InShot as the app to kind of edit it. And then I use YouTube Studio to put my tags. And that's it. I just upload. Oh, I use Canva to make my thumbnails. Yeah, my friend Jess, my friends Jess and Jake um, taught me how to do that. Oh, what is this one? Is this? Oh my gosh, this is for something else. Oh my gosh, we are done, friends. How cute. We are done. Yay, yay, yay. We're done. Okay. Yes, finally. Done with all the tags. And okay, guys, I hope that inspired you to use your scrap stash today. We're just going to do a quick review. Um, let me move you a little bit so you can see a little bit further. I hope that helped you use your scrap stash. I'm going to put Tenille's link down below. She is an amazing crafter, paper artist, and super, super, super inspiring Um I will link her down below, and I'm going to link Jennifer McGuire's um, shadow video, shadow box card video, um, so that you can see how she constructed it, and she does amazing editing anyway, so I'm not going to even try. So we were able to make all these together. I hope you got inspired <clears throat> to use your scrap stash, my friends. Um... Stay safe. Have a wonderful Saturday. Please like and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And um, please put a comment down below if you have any questions at all. Any comments. Um, I would love to hear from you on what you're doing this Saturday. That would be so much fun. Since I cannot hear from you, I don't have live. Eventually I will, I promise. I will not stop. Anyway, guys, thank you so much. Stay safe. Stay strong. As always, have a wonderful crafty day. This is Christian signing off. Bye!